Hi, I'm Alice and I'm Research and Documentation Assistant for Archaeology at Holland East Riding Museum in Hull and I'm talking about an iron mirror from Garten Slack. So the mirror's got a circular mirror plate and then a handle that has two loops at either end and is decorated with copper alloys, so a kind of golden colour. Um, the mirror was found in the grave of a young woman who was around 20 to 30 years old when she died. She was buried in a barrow, which is a man-made earth mound over a grave, and it had a square ditch around it. The barrow was in Britain's largest known Iron Age cemetery, and it spans Garton Slack and Wetwang Slack in East Yorkshire. The mirror has been dated to 380 to 200 BC, which makes it over 2,000 years old, and it's one of the oldest Iron Age mirrors found in Britain. Now, there's been a lot of discussion around the significance of mirrors in Iron Age society. You've got to bear in mind, at the time, people wouldn't have had many opportunities to look at themselves, apart from looking in things like pools of water, so they would have relied on other people to tell them what they looked like. So it's possible that owning something like a mirror where you could see yourself and see how other people saw you would have kind of given you a power as it would have given you control over your own image. There have also been ideas around the idea of mirrors kind of being magical objects. So possibly giving you a kind of way to see into the future or maybe because they're reflective that they could reflect away bad spirits. But that's one of the reasons I wanted to pick this object, because it kind of reminds us as well that as archaeologists, we can kind of have deeper, meaningful thoughts about the meaning of an object and what it could have meant as a magical, spiritual thing. But we can also simultaneously think it's really well made, it's a decent looking thing, and someone probably just used it to check that they looked okay.